from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez with your latest headlines. On this Monday, police on the city's east side investigating a deadly crash. Around 1.30 this morning, Metro police officers were called to Brookside Parkway near Nowland Avenue. Officers say it appears a driver lost control of the vehicle coming out of a turn. The female was taken to an area hospital where she was later pronounced dead. The man accused of vandalizing the Islamic Center of Bloomington is facing one charge of criminal mischief. Police say the man caused thousands of dollars in damage to the center's property. Adam Walls is accused of vandalizing picnic tables and breaking several items last month. They include metal fencing, an air conditioner, and a security camera. He is currently being held without bail because he has four other pending cases against him. Governor Holcomb's COVID-19 executive orders will remain in place throughout the month of December. November, I should say, but the governor says that may be scaled back in the month of December. The latest version of the order adds a provision allowing the health commissioner to authorize vaccinations in children younger than 11. The order also extends easing medical licensing rules for those working in certain professions. Now time to check your forecast with our Alyssa Donovan. Hey Alyssa. Hey, it's going to be a chilly start to November here in central Indiana, starting with some areas of frost this morning. Below average temperatures today. We're going to see those clouds build in throughout the afternoon, maybe some peaks of sunshine later today, but mostly we're going to see cloudy skies. 50 degrees for our high possibility of a stray shower for areas to the south this evening, but most of us are going to stay dry today and throughout the seven day forecast. Look at this sunny and and cool Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday in the 40s for our daytime highs, overnight lows in the 30s, back into the 50s this weekend. For more weather and stories that you need to know, please download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.